Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk chickens. I'm standing in front of our chicken coop and as you can see we have a two-sided coop. So there's a dividing wall down the middle with two separate coops on each side. And I wanted to talk today about why two coops are better than one. A lot of people who think about getting chickens or do get chickens or even have chickens, they build one coop. And that's great for your first starting flock, but there's problems with having just one. So when you want to expand your flock or bring new chickens in, you go online, you see a free chicken down the road, you want to grab it, you bring it home, and you want to put it in with your flock. And that's your first instinct. If you're, if you're not familiar with raising chickens, you might want to just throw it in, but it's not good practice. You really should keep new chickens isolated from your flock. Um, ours is isolated by a wire wall. Ideally, you'd want to be even more separated than that, but I think that works good for us. Um, but you want them isolated for a little while so A, you can keep an eye on them and make sure they don't have any diseases or mites or anything that's going to affect your flock. Um, if you throw a sick chicken into your flock, you could be uh, causing... <laughs> A lot of damage to your existing flock. The other reason is that when a new bird is introduced into when a new bird is introduced into an existing flock, they can fight. They could not get along. There could be a lot of bullying while they sort out their pecking order, and you don't want any dead chickens. Chickens can kill each other if they don't like each other. If they're fighting over. If they're fighting over territory or just don't like the newcomer. So it's a good idea to isolate new chickens and give them a chance to adapt to the environment and get a chance for the chickens to get to know each other before joining flocks. We had an existing flock of chickens here on one side and we recently bought a new flock of Isa Brown chickens. We were told that the Isa Browns would not get along with our chickens and they would probably kill them. So of course we want to keep them separated. So what we ended up doing was we put them, the Isa Browns here, our chickens here, and we gave them a while, a couple weeks to get used to each other and start seeing each other through the wire. They can't attack each other, but they can get used to each other. Once they were used to each other, we've been slowly taking one Isa Browna per day in the morning, and we put them in with our existing flock because we want them to get along with each other. Instead of having the flock together and throwing them all in at once, we figured one at a time is safer because um, the Isa Browns were really the aggressive ones. So we didn't want to throw six aggressive chickens in with our flock. We'd rather do one at a time. That's been working out really well for us. Ashley does it each morning. She takes a chicken and switches it over to the other side. And they've been all getting along excellent. So we're really happy with the success of doing it this way. Some people suggest uh, merging flocks at nighttime when they're calm and they're on the roost. But that's not always a good idea because when they wake up, they can still start fighting. So I think the best thing to do is just, just to wait until the morning and join them in the morning when you can keep an eye on them and make sure they're going to be okay with each other. Now, if you don't have two coops, um, there's a couple of ways you can go about this. If you're only introducing like one or two chickens, if you can get one of those dog kennel cages, you can keep those in, in, in that for a few days while you're introducing them to your chickens. You just want to keep them in a safe space and the cage would protect them while they get to use to each other. That's not ideal and, and I would only do it if you knew the chickens were of really good health, but it would work. And alternatively, you could just build another coop. Building a coop doesn't have to be expensive or complicated. A lot of people are building these hoop coops out of some simple uh, cattle panels and tarps. It's really easy to make, really inexpensive, and it's a good way to, to add to your flock. You can see a really good example of hoop coops over at Jeff's channel at Bobblehead Homestead. He makes those every time he needs to expand his flock. He makes a new hoop coop and they work really well for him. They might not be ideal for every situation, but it's a good cheap solution. I hope this helps you guys out. Anybody who wants to raise chickens or bring in new chickens into their flock, just be aware that you shouldn't just throw them all in together. It sometimes works, 
but sometimes it doesn't. You'd rather be safe than sorry. So that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. Look how well they're getting along. And there's only two left on this side. One right there, and the other one is... Well, probably outside. Yep.